Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. For today's video I'm going to be creating a very summery look so please keep on watching if you want to see how it's done. Alright guys, so we're going to start. I already did and filled in my eyebrows. What I used for my eyebrows was the Benefit Goof Proof Pencil and the Give Me Brow Little Gel. So I'm going to start with putting some concealer on. I know a lot of people start with their eyes just because of the fallout, but I can't do that. I feel weird starting with my eyes first. So I'm going to go ahead and use the Jeffree Star. This is uh, the shade pink. This is to cover up any brown dark circles on my eyes. And I like to put it also on my nose just because I have a little bit of discoloration. So I just want to make everything even. After that, I like to take the Jeffree Star. This is in color C16. This is also concealer. Also, again, applying a little bit to my nose just to make everything the same color. All right, guys, getting into the color. For today's look, I'm gonna be using an orangey color. I know a lot of people are doing orange now, and it's a very summer, color and it's beautiful but a lot of people feel intimidated to use orangey and bright colors i'm going to be using the color but i'm going to be toning it down a little bit just so it could be a comfortable look i know a lot of people don't like using very bright crazy colors they want to wear color but it's a little bit scary and it is for me as well so i like to tone it down a little bit so i'm going to be using the james charles palette and i'm going to be using this color right here, a very orangey color. I'm going to be putting that all over my lid. So what I'm doing here, I'm just grabbing lots of color and putting it on my lower lid and then just bring it in up just a little, not too much without grabbing any more products. So we're gonna try to stay darker on the bottom lid and then just bringing it up without any grabbing more, just using the product that you already have on your lid and just bringing it up. All right guys, so once you have that orange beautiful color on all over your lid, and then we're gonna use darker orange color and it's just a, to give it a, a transition. So we're gonna be using this one right here. Just grab just a tiny bit because I know James Charles palettes are very pigmented, which are beautiful, but start out little by little and just add on as you feel more comfortable. So we're gonna take it from the corner of our lid and then we're just gonna do sweeping motion. All right guys, so after you have your color down, I'm gonna go ahead and line my eyes. I'm gonna be using, of course, the Stila Stay All Day. This is, has been one of my favorites eyeliner. It's nice and thin, and if I want a thicker eyeliner, I could always go back and make it a little thicker. So I'm gonna go ahead and line my eyes. All right guys, now that the eyeliner is on, I'm gonna be putting on some falsy eyelashes. I'm gonna be putting on the A uh, Kiss. This is the Rizzi eyelashes and this is a natural black it adds a lot of volume and it's a pump up effect so you can get these anywhere where i believe i got it in rite aid where you get it in walmart or Dwayne reed or whatever pharmacy cvs that you have nearby I just sell them everywhere and it's um they're really good lashes so i'm gonna be putting these on all right guys lashes is on i'm gonna be putting a little bit of, of mascara and i'm gonna be using the Too Faced better than sex just gonna put a little bit just to make them a little darker they're on they're just very light and very natural looking so i'm just gonna put mascara on all right guys for the face i'm gonna be using the perfect peach by Too Faced this is in color natural beige i'm gonna be putting that all over my face 
All right, guys, once you put your foundation on, I'm gonna go again with the C16 by Jeffree and putting again concealer. This is just to give it a little bit more coverage and to prep it for the eyeshadow that I'm gonna be putting on my lower lid. And with the same brush that we took before, we're gonna grab this darker orangey color. And we're gonna put it on the lower lid. Grabbing the lightest orange that we originally put on our whole lid at the beginning, we're gonna grab that again, which is this one right here, and we're gonna put that in the corner of our eyes, just to give it a pop color. With another fluffy brush, we are going to end up with a really light color, and this is just to soften everything up. We're gonna grab this color right here. This is something that matches your skin color. And we're just gonna take a little bit of that, not too much, we don't wanna make it pale. And we're just gonna soften the whole look up. So we're just gonna grab just a little bit. You don't wanna grab too much where you are taking away from the color. Just soften this up. And you could also soften the bottom as well. I'm sorry you guys, but I had to move the camera around because the lighting was so horrible and it was just not, it was taken away from the look. You guys weren't able to see the orangey, now I feel like you can see a little bit more. Alright guys, so for the contour I'm going to be using is the Urban Decay and is the Jean Michael and we're going to put a little bit of bronzer in the lower part of our cheeks, just like so, on your chin. So we want that chin to look skinny. Skinny? Sharp? I don't know. But it looks good when you put it on. It gets rid of this lower here, lower chin. To contour the nose, I'm gonna be grabbing a smaller brush like this, and I'm going to grab the same product, just this one right here, and I'm gonna do two small lines going down the bridge of my nose. I'm gonna take a bigger brush and I'm just gonna blend this. And what this is gonna do is just gonna give it the illusion of a smaller nose. All right guys, for blush, I'm gonna be using the same palette, the Urban Decay, and I'm gonna be grabbing these two colors here. I'm just gonna put it on the apples on my cheeks. And then for the highlighter, I'm gonna be using the Too Faced. This is the Love Light. This is the one I got in TJ Maxx. I did a review, no, I didn't do a review. I did the haul. If you guys have not seen it, I did a video on that as well. Look how beautiful it looks. Nice and shimmery. I'm gonna be putting some of that on top of that blush. And then the cheekbone right here. So pretty. And then on the other cheek, tip of your nose. And here. All right guys, for the lips, I'm gonna keep it very neutral. I'm gonna be using the Morphe Backseat Love. This color is very neutral to the lips just because I already have color on my eyes. For the gloss, I'm going to be using Glossier. Alright guys, my go-to black eyeliner pencil is the NYX and this is in color black. I'm going to put this on our lower waterline. I feel like it's going to give it a nice pop to the orange. Alright guys, yes. I like this a lot better. It gives it like a nice touch. Alright guys, so this is it. I hope you enjoyed. I had so much fun creating this look for you guys. I really, really like this orange color. I feel like it goes so well with everyone and I feel like it's such a great color for late summer going on to fall. It's beautiful. It's wearable. I feel like it's not too crazy. 
um, once you layer up a little bit of a dark color on top. Again, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, ring that little bell so you don't miss any of my future videos and I will see you next time. Bye.